Nigerians and to the general, Malami make it clear anyone including Adeboye, others will face prosecution for violating to interban Lai Mohammed. Both Adeboye of the Redeemed Christian Church of God and Kumuyi of the Deeper Life Bible Church have been twinting on deviance of the Twitter ban in the country. Nigeria's Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, says the Attorney General of the Federation and Justice Minister Abubakar Malami has the prerogative to decide who to prosecute for violating Twitter ban including Pastor Enoch Adeboye and Pastor William Kumuye. Both Adeboye of the Redeemed Christian Church of God and Kumuye of the Deeper Life Bible Church have been tweeting on deviance of the Twitter ban in the country. But Muhammad, in an interview with BBC African Focus on Monday, responding to a question about Adeboye's violation of the ban, insisted to winter threatens the corporate existence of Nigeria. He says the Attorney General has made it clear that if anyone violates the regulation that such person will be prosecuted. I think it is the right of the Attorney General to decide who to prosecute, he said. The government has suspended indefinitely the cooperation of Twitter in Nigeria because the persistent use of the platform for activities that are capable of undermining Nigeria's corporate existence and the government. Also directed the National Broadcasting Commission to immediately commence the process of licensing all social media operations in Nigeria. He also said during the interview. On Saturday, the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami San, ordered the arrest and prosecution of anyone found using the social media platform. Adebuye, General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, however, tweeted on Monday despite the ban on microblogging site to, to enter by the Nigerian government. Adebuye, who who defined the ban, who deviate, deviate ban, described Twinton as being in accordance with, with Article 19 of the UN Universal Declaration of Human Rights. He tweeted, the redeemed Christian Church of God is domiciled in, mod, in, in more than 170 nations and territories. The twint here are in accordance to Article 19 of the UN Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Kumuyi, who also, who also deviated the, the, the ban of, of, of Monday, said to win share on his page are targeted at a global audience in more than five continents and other 100 nations. In view of the Twitter ban in Nigeria, please note that the content share on this handle is targeted at a global audience in more than five continents and over 100 nations, and we share the content from any of these locations, he tweeted. Nigerian government banned Twitter last Friday after the app deleted a controversial comment made by President Mohamed Buhari in which he made reference to the Nigerian civil war, which, may, which many Nigerians describe as detestable. De to make my contribution, I want to start by saying that the Nigerian government talking about precisely the president, President Mohamed Buhari, is he a law abiding president? Lai Mohamed, who is the Minister of Communication and Culture, 
is he a law abiding citizen of Nigeria? I want to say here again that many of Mr. President aid on social media platform are there law abiding citizen. Somebody like Dr. Isa Pantami, somebody like Femi Adeshina, somebody like Loretta Onoshe, somebody like Garuba Adamu, so and many others. Are there law abiding citizens of this country? Let them answer that question. Now, is Nigeria government follow the constitution? Is Nigerian government a law abiding? Is there any law in Nigeria? So, if there are law in Nigeria, why wouldn't these people, a mission above, did not abide with the law of Nigeria? In fact, as far as Nigerians are concerned, there is no law. Nigeria is living a state of anarchy where anybody can do anything he wishes. Because if the, 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 the if President Muhammad Buhari of Nigeria is law abiding, number one, he would have followed the constitution in doing things. Number two, he would have follow due process when doing things because often time when mr president and his ministers want to take an action they don't they, they, they don't notify those you're supposed to know before they go on before they go on to do what they want to do now as a president who is learned you must have consulted your aid or those that are consigned before you embark on doing anything, but they will not. Now, I'm not trying to uh, support maybe Pastor Kumui or Pastor Adeboye, but they are twinting. I think from what I read, they are not the one twinting. It was the member all over the world that twinted into their page. That is what information ministers should know. And uh, since then, I believe that they are not only the one who has been tweeted, there are other cleric men that has tweeted as well. And I do not even think that they were the one tweeted it. It was the member all over the world that tweeted into their page. That is what I'm seeing. Then. Now that you have raised alarm with their name, it seems that they were the one tweeted and you are trying to tarnish their image. I think the, the, the information minister should find out things very well before he bring it to the air because what has happened to these two men formation, it is it, it just tarnished their image. It should be a country that is law abiding shouldn't do that.